When we go out on a job, we go out there to look after life and save property. One of the things that really, I guess, hits us is when we can't save a property. When you rock up and you have to tell someone that their property is undefendable because they didn't clean up, and we have to do that on occasion, that is a really tough ask and it's not something we want to do. Bushfires are a real threat for people who live in South Australia. With 425 brigades operating across the state and a fleet of over 850 fire trucks, there's a number of tools the CFS use to put out bushfires. One is the 3-4 rural fire truck. With four-wheel drive and the ability to hold 3,000 litres of water, 60 litres of foam and over 300 metres of hose, it's a very effective tool against bushfire. So the two appliances that we have are excellent for this area. We've got the 3-4, which is great for knocking down running grass fires and attending the bigger incidents. And we've got the quick reaction vehicle, which allows us to get into gullies and places that the 3-4 couldn't go. So overall, it's an excellent capability to allow us to support the community. The average response time for us here at Concordia is between eight and 10 minutes. That's from when the alarm drops and you drop what you're doing, getting down here, truck out, and then off on the road. People have got the mentality that if their house is on fire, we're gonna be there. We could be half hour away. We have quite a few things that we need to deal with. Um, time of day, how much traffic there is, uh, what's around the area where the incident's occurring. Um, there are a lot of things that really slow us down when we're trying to get to an incident. During the day, air support plays a vital role in knocking down the fire, allowing us to get in to then black out and keep the fire contained. Fire suppression, just knocking down the fire, it's uh, really handy, but in the end, they can't do what the ground crew can do. They can't get into the tight spots and they can't fully put out the fire. They can knock the flames down, but there'll always be embers, logs that need to be put out by the guys on the ground. If they don't get put out, the fire will spark up again and it'll be raging before you know it. It's a sad thing I have been involved in incidents where there's just areas that are undefendable. Sometimes it's been because they haven't taken the necessary precautions themselves of clearing their property. Proper planning and preparation prior to the bushfire season is critical because once it starts, it moves so fast usually that you don't have time to react. Generally, I think people have a reasonable idea. Perhaps they get time poor and some people don't plan as well as they should. When we go out, we see a reasonable level of planning, but there's also a segment that don't. Um, you need to plan early because if you don't, it'll be too late by the time the fire starts. Keep the area tidy and just minimise the risks. Yeah. Right, Samson Flat is a classic example. It doesn't matter where you're in the thick of it or on the fringes. Um, I think it's been a big wake up call for all of us. That no matter where you're living there, um, you still need to be prepared to either leave, stay and defend, and above all, maintain the property so you can be bushfire ready. It's the simple things, just like mowing your lawns, cleaning your gutters, that can just keep you safe this summer. The CFS urges South Australian residents to prepare their property and make a bushfire survival plan. For more information, visit the CFS website.